All right, guys, let's talk about Sunday night football. Prime time, baby, prime time. Uh, Tampa Bay is heading into NOLA to take on the Saints. As of Wednesday, the Saints are three-point favorites, and the point total is set at 51.5. Now, the Bucs, they beat the Washington football team. Make sure I say that right. The Washington football team. Still getting used to that. 31-23. Uh, to Tom Brady, 381 yards, two touchdowns, another touchdown for Antonio Brown, and then we get to the Saints, right? They beat Da Bears 21-9 at Mercedes-Benz Superdome. They cover the 10-point spread. And they are now looking for a three-game sweep against the Bucks, having beaten them twice already in the regular season. Jeff, Chelsea, can the Saints three-peat against the Bucks, Or do Tom Brady and company take over here? Chelsea, I'll start with you. <sighs> Let me first tell you how many times that the Bucks defense has burned me this season. On paper, they're this vaunted defense that's number one in rush yards per game uh, allowed. But for some reason or another, they still allow points. So I don't think I can rely on them again here. And then they're going against the Saints defense that's number one in defensive efficiency. As you mentioned in the intro, the Bucks have been owned by the Saints, 0-4 in their last four, being outscored 137-67 to in those games. I think the Bucks make it a little bit closer here, but I like the Saints here. Uh, their defense is to too good, and they have all their offensive weapons clicking right now. Michael Thomas is back, making uh, Michael Thomas moves, and then Alvin Kamara is doing you know, the things that he's supposed to do when it comes to the run game. I think there's too many weapons. Oh, yeah, and just sprinkle in a little Taysom Hill. Yeah, too much for uh, Tampa Bay, I think, to handle. What do you think, Jeff? How's it going in this game? Uh, you know, in pro football, to beat a team, the same team, three times in one season is, you know, incredible. And now when you consider that the third of these matchups is going to be in the playoffs. So these are two really good football teams. But, you know, I... I <laughs> I feel like Chelsea does. I watch the Bucks defense, and I hear about the Bucks defense, and then I see it on tape, and I just see too many big plays against it. Uh, you know, Tyler Haneke has been with five football teams, and he went mm -hmm. into that game last week, and he kept his football team within a touchdown of winning that game. This week, they face a Hall of Famer, and a Hall of Famer with all of his weapons for the first time since the first time they played when Michael Thomas got hurt. So... Uh, you, you add in the and factor in Deontay Harris, his emergence in the last three weeks to give him that guy that can catch a hit screen and go 60 against you. I, I just really think that the Saints, top to bottom, offense, defense, and special teams, and special teams always play big in this. Uh, Thomas Morstead's the best punter of the two punters. They're extremely good covering punts and kickoffs. Um, the Saints are a more complete team. It's, you know, it's just, to me, uh, you know, again, as hard as it is to say that you're going to beat your arch rival three times, I think that's what's going to happen in this game. Y'all are crazy. Tom Brady ain't about to get a oh, three so with your angry Tom Brady again. It's angry, angry Brady. And I don't ever bet against angry Brady. It rarely ever loses me money. I can't see it. And maybe it's my bias as a, as a, self-deprecating sad <laughs> sad falcons fan but i just hate the saints okay so to, before you listen to anything i say just know that okay uh but with that being said i also hate the bucks and also as a falcons fan i also hate tom brady because of what he did to us in the super bowl i hate everybody in this game i'd be happy if they both lose and neither one of them advanced that'd be great but that's not gonna happen somebody has to win this game and my whole adult life tom brady has been Merkin the NFL and I just cannot fathom him getting three P I cannot see him getting swept by the Saints so because the Saints are favorites here obviously I have the Bucks covering obviously I have them winning money line and you know what? I'm pretty sure that in the last time they played I don't think Antonio Brown was even if he was playing he was not full effect that was the game where the Bucks only ran it like five times in the game which was like insane never happened i think since they've been recording these things in the nfl um leonard fournette looks like he is just completely now i just feel like it's a different bucks team right now i really do and tom brady he just ain't going down like that 
ain't happening. And that's all. That's all. That's that's my expert opinion here when it comes to this game. Now, everybody, maybe I missed it. Maybe you said it. I'm taking the over, obviously, in this game. Chelsea, are you taking the over? Uh, I like the over here, too, just because, like you said, I think this Bucks offense has looked a lot better as of late. I don't think they're good enough to beat the Saints, but I think uh, their offense is really clicking and they're going to be able to put up some points here. And especially no weather is going to be a factor when you're in a dome environment, two great quarterbacks picking each other apart. Yeah, I like the over and it's already gone up a point, which means people are already hammering the over. Jeff, you take, take the over as well? Take the over. This is going to be, All right. This is going that to be makes a, me happy. A lot of points early and a lot of points the whole way through. You know, it's interesting. The, the deep ball's back in Tampa. Everybody was, you know, having questions in his last two years in New England about yeah. Brady's ability to throw the ball down the field. And now with Antonio Brown and Godwin and Mike Evans. And, I mean, he's got so many weapons at his disposal. They'll push the ball down the field because that's what Bruce likes to do. Yeah, no risk it, no biscuit, baby. This isn't going to be a 38-3 to game again. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. It's going to be a lot of points scored, so we all agree on that. There you have it, guys. There's our picks for primetime, baby. It's going to be... It's going to be a game for the ages. And as I said before we started the show, it is not often that I look forward to seeing men in their 40s play <laughs> sports. But this is the exception to my rule. I'm so looking forward to this. And everybody, viewers, bettors, gamblers, everybody, just take a minute to appreciate this game as well. Because this very well might be the last time that we ever get to see this matchup again. And I know that historically Drew Brees has won the matchup whenever it comes to him versus Tom Brady. But, um, yeah, just, just take a moment to appreciate greatness, okay? Because there goes. There goes. Uh, there you have it. That's our picks. Let us know in the comments below what you think.